Now let's create a skin texture. And so let's start on the body. And then because the head has a little bit more complexity to it, we will uh, do that later. So we'll go ahead and click over to the body right now. You can see as we click, there are no layers. There's just the one empty paint layer. And so we can now start to build up our texture. And so I'll go over to maybe the arm or the, or the leg where we can see a large part of the, the body. And so that will let us kind of see what's going on. So we first need to decide kind of a, an overall color, maybe that we want to create here. And so we can bring in a fill layer and we can start to play with colors. I think I'm going to make mine sort of a desaturated blue gray kind of color as kind of the base. And you could do the same, or you can create your own as with any of these uh, textures that we're creating, feel free to kind of customize the settings that we are creating and the colors to make it something unique to you. So make kind of a, an overall color. And then we can also choose sort of an overall roughness. So we want to vary the roughness, but let's make it kind of a base uh, roughness here. And so I'm going to just increase the roughness a little bit. So I'm at about 0.36. I don't want to go too matte. I still want to get a little bit of, of shininess on that. So I think about 0.35, 36, something like that. All right. I'll leave everything else as is. We can also start to add some variation to this color. So we can do that through the use of uh, cloud noise or any other kind of noise um, that you may want to add. We've got the black and white spots here that we can add as far as procedurals go that we could add to specific uh, pieces here. We can also look over here under materials. You can see there are some ready-made materials that you can use. If you look at smart materials, there are some ready-made smart materials, which utilize some of the maps that uh, you've created things like curvature so that you get different looks. Uh, you could use some of those. And so you can look at these smart materials. And so you can look at these smart masks and start to add them to the colors. You could also come up here to grunges. And this gives you a lot of different methods of adding noise as well as more of a, less of a procedural, more of a textured kind of a look. All right. And so let's go ahead and let's just create a new fill right above this. And in the base color, I'm going to go to the procedurals and let's add, let's add this clouds one again to the base color. And I'm going to choose to soft light on this and let's go in to our color. And I'm going to change the scale to something like three, actually let's go maybe five and let's take the blending down a little bit. So maybe something like that. And now I also want to add sort of a, a fine skin pattern to this. Okay. And so I'm going to create a new fill layer on the top and let's come down to color and I'm going to choose this cells three in the procedurals section. And let's drop this into the base color and with this cells three selected, I'm going to come down to under this under parameters and under noise parameters, let's go ahead, open that up and I'm going to change the scale. So if I increase that scale, you can see what that looks like. So maybe something like that. You can see what happens if I increase or decrease the hardness. So I'm going to go ahead and increase that to give us a little bit more of a border between those. All right. So something like that, I'm going to choose to invert this. So I'm going to come down to invert. We'll invert this so that the lines are white. And then let's do a screen so that we get the white lines. And then I will dial those back a little bit. All right. And now we can take this exact same cells three and we just want to look right now we have the scale at 226 hardness at 0.9. And so in this layer, we can do it in the same layer. We can come into the height right here and we can pipe it into the height to give ourselves some bump. Now, we're using the default one, so it's not matching up. So all we have to do is come in here now and match up the parameters. So I'll set this to 226, 0.9. And you can see the height is really, really too much. It's not what we want at all. So we can add an adjustment to this. So let's go ahead and add a filter. And I'm going to choose filter. And then I'm going to start typing height. And we can choose a height adjustment. And this will allow us to adjust the height like it sounds like. And so we can come in here and under multiply, I'm going to take this down 
until we get something that looks more like that. So we can get that sort of skin variation. All right. Now you can see where it goes all the way around to the underside. And so if there are areas where you don't want to have the scaling, you can come in, add a mask. So let's add a white mask. So everything is showing through and now we'll have an opportunity to paint. And so on this mask, we can come in and you can see, assuming that we use black. So you come in here and choose the color that you want to use. You can actually paint out where that shows up and you can blend it however you want. This is pressure sensitive and you can change the, the flow back to, you know, being dependent on your pen pressure. And so I can paint out the palm so that that the scales only happen on the rougher parts of the skin. So something like that, you can see well, that's happening all across the body, right? Even up here. So let's say on these bony parts, we don't want to have these scales as much. And so I'm just going to start to kind of paint that out along those parts that are kind of sticking up kind of like that. And same thing here. Now we don't currently have symmetry on. And so anything that you do on one side, you're going to want to come in and do on the other side. We'll show you how to turn symmetry on in a bit. So let's go ahead and just kind of paint out the scales and some of these areas up here. And looking at these spots, we may want to have a different material, more of a bony kind of material peeking out of there. Come over to this arm and we'll do the same thing. We'll just kind of come in here and you can paint either in the 3D view or in the 2D view, either one. And right now, you can see I've got the mask selected. So I'm painting with black paint on the mask and it's masking out the effect of that particular layer. And it's all combining together to get the effect that we're seeing in the 3D view. Okay, so we have a base color. We have a cell texture that is creating the bumpiness. If we turn these off, we can go back down to the base color. If we turn this on, we've got the color variation. If we turn this on, we've got the height change in here. And we can also add some detail based on the color. And so for this, you can see if we select this, the color right now is being driven by the cells, which is giving us the light and dark values. And so we could come back in and create a new fill layer up here. Let's add cells again to the color and let's go ahead and match our parameters. And I think it was 226 actually. All right. Now let's invert that. And now if we go to multiply, we get just the black values on there. Okay. And then we can dial this capacity down. Okay. We could also add some variation into this by adding a mask. Let's go ahead and add a black mask. And then on this mask, we're going to go in and add a generator and let's just add like a dirt. So now we've got a generator driving the mask. So it's creating the mask. And so you're getting this variation. We can come back here, dial this in. The variation is only happening inside of the raised parts of the cells. Okay. So you're getting some really cool kind of variation inside here where the dirt might be. You can dial the effect of this down, but you can see it kind of adds a little bit to the color variation. All right. So once we have that, let's go ahead and add sort of a bony texture to places like these areas that are sticking out. So we'll do that next. 